What's up everybody? It's your girl Tam here and you are now watching Tam TV. I Happy New Year, Tam fam. It's so good to be back with you guys at the top of the year, January 2021, okay? Um, hey, hi, hello. It is I. Yeah, this video was supposed to go up last month in January in the second week of the month. However, due to procrastination reasons, it did not. So let's just pretend like it's still a new year, okay? Yeah, let's just go with it, okay guys? Let's just go with it. All right, carry on. All right, girls. Before we get into today's video, I want to talk to you about this new lipstick slash lip gloss company that I have been put on to by my homegirl, okay? It is called Glossé Beauty, all right? Glossé Beauty. Now, my good, good Judy over at Glossé Beauty sent me over two of their new lip products. One gloss and one matte. The first one that I have on my lips currently is called It's Sheer. As you can see, it is a beautiful, I'll put videos right here. As you can see, it is a beautiful sheer nude gloss that can be worn with a beautiful brown lip liner, okay? Don't let them catch you slipping, girl. Make sure you put on that lip liner to go over it and then put the gloss over the lip liner and it will look come out looking amazing, as you can see. As you can see, honey, okay? The lips are looking juicy, the lips are looking full, the lips are looking amazing, all right? Um, the second color that she sent me is her matte lipstick in the color number seven. And as you can see, it is a beautiful purple matte lipstick. Now, let me tell you, I recently wore this lipstick on a night out. It was my friend's birthday dinner and when I tell you this lipstick stayed on through the mask, through the drinks, through the food, okay? This matte right here was not going nowhere, baby. It wasn't going nowhere. Both of these lipsticks right here, um, the gloss starts off at $8 and the mattes start off at 12. There are a variety of colors on the website. And if you go right now, you can get 15% off your first purchase, okay? So head on over to Instagram at Glossay underscore beauty and www.glossay.com to purchase your new lippies, okay? And tell her Tam sent you. Here on my channel, we discuss beauty, lifestyle, comedy, and conversation. And today's conversation is about the things that we are leaving in 2020, okay? Let's get into it. Oh, 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 before I forget, Please follow me on Instagram, okay? Follow me at my personal Instagram page, at Tamla Adabutu. I'll leave the link. And on my YouTube Instagram page, at TamTV with two underscores. All right, now, let's get into it. Things I'm not bringing into 2021. Number one is imposter syndrome. Now, for those of you who do not know the textbook definition of imposter syndrome, it basically means, I'm gonna put the definition on the screen, um, but it basically means when you do not feel like you are as good as your peers, you feel like your accomplishments don't measure up to the people that are standing next to you. And you ask yourself, do I even deserve to be here right now with all these, you know, whatever field you may be in, let's say you're a makeup artist and, you know, um, a great example of this would be the new app Clubhouse, which if you ladies are on Clubhouse, follow me on Clubhouse, okay? Um, I also have some invites. So if you girls would like an invite, please follow me on Instagram and send me a DM, okay? I got you. Um, now, imposter syndrome, for example, is like when you are on, you're in Clubhouse, right? And you're in a room with the likes of spectacular and let's say super scent and you know bb judy right these are all heavy hitters in the entrepreneurial world at this time and you might feel like oh my god what am i doing up here with these with these heavy hitters they got millions of followers they're millionaires i don't deserve to be here right now okay I, I, we are putting a stop to imposter syndrome in 2021 okay here's why because whatever room 
that you enter into, you deserve to be there. Imposter syndrome is a psychological thing that a lot of us may need to work through in therapy. Um, that is also on my list for 2021. Find a therapist because everything starts with internal and childhood trauma. So my imposter syndrome, for example, I always used to think of myself as lesser. I always used to shrink myself and like kind of, you know, be looking around like, I don't deserve to be here. Like, you know, I'm I'm a I'm a weird, awkward black girl, like on the inside. I'm goofy, like I'm not as cool as you guys. Like, what what is it about me that you like? Like, nah, 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 nah. Show up and show out. So whatever talent you have, it's valuable. Everybody has a story to tell, whether you think your story is good or not. And do not shrink yourself because confidence is key and confidence can really get you into some major, major, it, it can really open some major doors for you. So what I learned about imposter syndrome is um, do your best to ignore that anxiety that you get whenever it's time to do something scary. If something scares you, that's a good thing. And instead of running away, you should really lean into that fear and that anxiety that you feel because you're going to make a major breakthrough, whether you realize it or not. Um, you know, if you've, ever, if you've ever heard the saying, do something that scares you once a day, once a week, once a month, it really, really helps build confidence so that you can tackle that imposter syndrome. So that that would be that would be my suggestion suggestion if you are really seriously dealing with this, um, and also to seek therapy and to seek counseling and do your research, you know, and put yourself out there. You gotta put yourself in front of the bus sometimes. You gotta throw yourself in front of the bus sometimes. Some of my most major breakthroughs I've had have been when I have been scared and I just did it. I just freaking did it. So just do it. Okay. And conquer that imposter syndrome. Cause we're not bringing that with us to the rest of the year. That's, that's blocking our blessings. We got to get over that. So that's just that on that. Okay. Number two, a scarcity mindset. Last year I read this book. What you think about me is none of your business. Funny enough, I got the book recommendation from Big Sean's Instagram, okay? You know him and Janae Aiko. They on they on this spiritual journey and he all spiritual now. So he shared these this book. He recommended this book for his um followers to read and I was struggling with um letting go of people pleasing and I said this book this book the book title spoke to me. What people think of you is none of your business, okay? Because I'm a YouTuber. I'm a content creator. Hell, I'm a reporter. I want to be on air. I want to be on public platforms speaking to large groups of people. I want to have a large following. So I can't be sitting up here giving a giving a F what anybody has to say about me or my personality. I got to be true to myself and be able to be a, you know, secure person within myself and secure in what I stand for, right? So I read this book and it discussed scarcity mindset versus abundance mindset. Scarcity mindset is when you live in lack. You act like everything is scarcity. Like you act like everything is scarce. For example, single women. Y'all worried about finding a man in 2021. I know you, sis. You you watching this video right now trying to figure out how you're going to get a man in 2021, okay? You don't want to miss out. You think somebody going to snatch your man up. You don't think your man is out there. You're worried. You're scared. You fear dying alone. And I was, I was you. I was you, okay? So I know. <laughs> That's how I know. But that's lack mindset, okay? Lack mindset is you thinking that you have to compete and there's there's not room for everybody to make it in your prospective field or everybody to make it 
in your business or whatever your idea is you think there are so many people doing this man there's not room for me like how am i gonna make money that's a lack mindset okay the opposite of lack is abundance and abundance mindset tells us that what you have your ideas are good enough also to the single woman out there that man is out there for you period these men ain't going nowhere sis there's plenty of men out here for everybody all right and if you don't believe that then you lack abundance mindset um so i want to read a um i want to read a page from I want to read a page from this book and it says when you live out of knowledge love and abundance the world is yours you absolutely create your own reality unlimited when you rid yourself of your belief in scarcity you'll find that you have unlimited opportunities for self-expression unlimited opportunities for financial abundance for jobs for creativity, and for relationships. Everything you want, you can have. You just got to tell yourself that. And you just got to unlock that abundance mindset and know that everything you want out there is out there with your name on it. You just got to go get it. So lack scarcity mindset, we leaving that in 2020, period, okay? 2021, abundance mindset only from here on out, okay? Number three, negative self talk no more oh my god i look so fat today no more oh my gosh girl you look so pretty no i don't i look fat oh my god my hair is messed up oh my god no more shrinking yourself in a room full of people okay you are going to only speak positivity into yourself and over your life in 2021 okay Collectively, that's what we doing. The tongue is very powerful. Everything you say has power. Everything you say floats out into the universe and the universe catches it. And they say, hmm, and they throw it back at you. <laughs> so if you say you ugly all the time, your, insecure, your, your insecurities, your self-esteem is gonna get lower and lower and lower. If you wake up every day in the mirror, even when you don't feel cute, and you be like, I'm a bad bitch. You won't eventually think that you're a bad bitch. It's very simple. It's very simple math. Two plus two equals four. Three plus three equals six, okay? You speak highly of yourself, that high frequency is going to return to you. If you speak lowly of yourself, that low frequency, that low vibration, that low vibrational energy is going to return to you. So... Let's leave that in 2020, okay? We're not, we not downplaying our beauty no more in 2020. We're not downplaying our accomplishments no more in 2020. We're going to be bold. We're going to stand in our truth. We're going to be authentic. We're going to say, yeah, this is who I am. Okay, and what? You going to love me? You going to love me or not? Love me or leave me, okay? So, yeah, that's it. That's, that's, we leave a negative self-talk in 2021. We don't have room for that. In order for us to grow and continue to evolve, we don't have space for negativity from anybody, including yourself. We are often our own worst critics, okay? Be nice to yourself. Be nice. You deserve You deserve to be nice to yourself. Be nice to yourself. Don't let nobody tell you who you are, okay? And that starts with you telling you who you are. So that's all I got to say about that. Four, situationships, situationships, situationships. Yeah, we, we're leaving them hoes in 2020, okay? Either you with me or you not. Either we together or we not. Ain't none of this, ain't none of this in between. Ain't, ain't, ain't none of this in between. Either we together or we not. You can situationship your ass back in 2020, okay? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it no more. I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm just, I'm not doing it. Okay. Yeah, leave them fucking situationships. Excuse my language. Leave them situationships in 2020, girl. What is he doing for you? What is, what is, is the, is the relationship serving you or is it giving you headaches? 
if he if he hasn't said we are in a relationship, y'all not in a relationship. He don't mean it. He don't mean it. He not committed. I you didn't hear. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? I'm just I'm just trying to put you on game. If he didn't say, Tanya, we are in a relationship. You are my girlfriend. Y'all not together. Leave it alone. Or just keep your feelings out of it, which that's a whole nother video because y'all hard-headed. Leave it. No. Next. <laughs> Number five. Laziness, inconsistency, and procrastination. I'm talking to myself, okay? We're leaving that sh that mess in 2020. It ain't got us nowhere. I could have been had a thousand followers by now if I would have been consistent and not procrastinating and not been lazy. This video almost didn't get filmed because I was too lazy to put on makeup. But you know what? We're not doing that no more in 2021. We're going to do it we regardless, even when we don't feel like it, okay? One tip that has... um. I'm implementing so far um, an accountability partner. Text the most reliable person in your phone and say, hey, would you like to be my accountability partner? Or text somebody that you know, whatever the goal is you have, whether it is to upload every week or you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to work out three times a week and you know somebody else is on a weight loss journey or you know somebody's gonna hold, you, hold your foot to the fire. Text them and be like, hey girl, um, let's make sure we put out videos every week. Okay. Hold me accountable. Send each other texts, send each, send each other encouraging text messages, support each other. It, I'm trying this method out right now, but I heard through the grapevine that it works. It really works and it helps you stay focused and encouraged and it picks you up when you don't feel like it, when you're down. So accountability buddies is my tip for that. And I will let you know how it goes. Also, you know, give yourself grace. Give yourself grace. If you don't feel like doing it one day, go through the motions. Feel how you need to feel. Cry, sleep, you know, don't do anything. Eat. No, don't eat too much, though. Um, And then get right back to it the next day. Don't stay down. Don't stay down. Get back in the game, okay? Don't give yourself too much time to stay down. Have your moment. Move on. So, That those ladies and gentlemen are the five things that I'm leaving in 2020. Comment down below. What are you leaving in 2020? I want to know. Because, you know, I might be right there with you. I might need to leave that in 2022. Comment down below one thing that you are leaving in 2020. I want to know. Um, and that is all I have for you today, boys and girls, ladies and gents. I'm so happy that this is the first video of the year. I hope it touched you. I hope it speaks to your spirit, you know. And then once again, if it spoke to your spirit, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the TAM fam, all right? You're going to love it here. Promise. That is all I have for today's video. I'll see you girlies in the next one. Bye.